freshman All-American. Uh, what does that mean to you personally, and what did it take to get to this point? Honestly, it's, 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 a, it's a big accomplishment, you know, uh, just in my career, you know, it's a big step. Um, and what it took, I mean, um, so out of high school, um, I didn't get All-State my senior year. I was kind of upset about it, but I remember talking to Coach Martin. He was just like, you know, uh, don't worry about it. You know, we're going to get uh, – we're chasing All-American. And, I mean, we did it. You know, it seemed like really towards the end of the year especially, you came on extremely strong those last few games. I guess how much have you seen your confidence grow uh, during your couple of years here? Uh, I feel like um, – firstly, I feel like I was always able to, like, make good plays. But I feel like, um, like, kind of just trusting uh, what Coach Martin was telling me and just, like, you know, uh, really, like, sitting down in that film room and, like, understanding, like, what I had to do each week. Uh, they kind of just – it helped me out towards the end. Ricky, uh, Matthew Hargrove here with the College Heights Herald. Uh, can you just talk about, again, how much it means for you to be a freshman All-American, especially with the season that you guys had and the, and the toughness that you had to go through? I mean, yeah, it, it was a tough season. You know, we didn't have that um, outcome we wanted. But, I mean, it just – it kind of put, like, a stamp on it. It kind of made it still something special on my end, I, I guess. Ricky, uh, Taryn Johnson, WNKY40 here. Um, your freshman campaign, you record 58 total tackles, fifth most among the launching point. But what are some areas heading into next year? I'm kind of froze. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. What are some things you're wanting to improve on heading into next season? Uh, some things I want to improve on. Um, let me think. Uh, just just being more in that film room, like in the film room, and kind of like understanding more. Uh, you know, I feel like I had a slow start to uh, the season last year, and just better like pick up and start faster than I did uh, last year. Hey, Ricky, Jared again. Um, you know, we had Coach Crum on here the other day uh, taking over as D coordinator. He said, obviously, you're, you're expected to be back, um, but Jeremy expected to be back. Jawan expected to be back. D'Angelo expected to be back. You know, a, a lot of the D line. Um, you know, how much more exciting does that make that make this after uh, taking this award this year? I feel like um, we, just all get, we all get another year together. I mean, um, there's just more experience now, you know, I'm a little, I'm gonna be a little older. They're, they're a little older, you know, it's just, it's, it's more experience in the, in, in the position. And, you know, kind of sticking with those guys, how much did those ones help you out? Or was there anybody else on the team specifically that kind of helped you get to this point? I feel like our, our, our D line, we're all close. You know, we've all like helped each other grow. Like the, especially me just watching the, all of them older guys just do what they do. I mean, I feel like definitely them. Like we've all kind of, you know, watched each other. I don't know. Ricky Matthew Hargrove here again with the College Heights Herald. Uh, can you just talk about your motivation going into next season, how much it improves because you did get into the freshman All-American category? Uh, so my motivation for next season is basically you had a good year, but it could have been better. So my plan is just to, you know, uh, watch film, understand my mistakes, and uh, just know that I made a uh, freshman All-American, but I could have had a way better season than I did. Hey, Ricky, Logan Hansen here from bvmsports.com. Just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about you and Jawan. Jawan obviously was the last freshman All-American for the Hilltoppers there. Have you guys been able to talk about it, have a little bit of a competition there, who's going to be better next year? Um, we haven't really talked about it yet, but I feel like definitely like it's going to come up, uh, especially when we get to uh, putting the pads on. And oh, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, one more question: Just you, you're considered just one of the best freshman interior pass rushers. Just what about your playing style works well with your team? That you know, you have Dewan on one side, you got Malone on the other. Just what kind of makes you a little bit different than those guys rushing on the edge? Uh, well, I feel like I bring uh, just more physicality, like. I feel like they're, they're really good, you know, in, uh, outside rushers. But I feel like, I mean, I feel like I, I've mastered, like, how to be more aggressive and, like, physical on the inside. I don't... 
you told him not to worry about not being high school all state because he'd be an all American, you know, what was that discussion like and what's the process been like to get here and what does it mean now to, to finally have him as a freshman all American? Well, um, recruiting, recruiting Ricky out of high school, I knew he was going to be a great player. Um, he, he, he called me, I mean, he texted me that day and said, look, coach, um, just so you know, um, they robbed me again for the all state. Um, and I'm tired of getting looked over. And um, what I had to do is ensure him that when you come here to Western, all right, I already know that you're going to work your tail off. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the All-American status. Um, All-State is cool, but um, let's go ahead and show the nation where, who, who Ricky Barber is. Um, but the great thing about Ricky, um, he's the perfect example of the, the type of guy that we want in our program, um, the type of guy that we want to recruit here. Um, and that's loving the process. He loves the process of, um, of, of what we have here at Western Kentucky. First of all, the process consists of him being a great person, um, taking care of business in the classroom, um, doing the extra in the weight room, um, taking care of his body. Because when he first got here, um, he was like 240-something pounds. Now he's 290 pounds of muscle. So he took care of his body, um, handled business in the weight room, and, and now he's like a little football nerd. He uh, pulls me out of my office every time I'm in a meeting or so. He pulls me out just to watch film, just to watch practice, watch the extra film. And, um, you know, he, he, he does the extra. Um, but the crazy and the scary thing about Ricky is um, he hasn't touched the potential of who he could be. Um, he still has a lot of room to improve. Um, and that's the scary thing about it. And I'm excited to work with him. Coach uh, Matthew Hargrove here with the College Heights Herald. Just talk about how much, you know, Ricky makes the job a lot easier, especially recruiting-wise, seeing a freshman All-American. I mean, that's got to bring a lot of guys wanting to come to Western Kentucky. No doubt about it, um, you know, and that shows that being here at Western Kentucky, um, you can be on the national spotlight. Um, he was on the, the all-state list from, with guys from Pitt, Clemson, um, TCU, Alabama, um, a lot of big-name schools, and then you see – WKU flag when Ricky Barber next to it so it shows guys and guys that we want to recruit here that um, if you come here at Western Kentucky you still have an opportunity to be on a national um, national spotlight national level so that's a that's a great opportunity uh, to when you come here. Uh, Coach Sherrod again with the Daily News I know you talked about his progression in the weight room and becoming a little football nerd I think is what you said um you know, it seems like that's really showing up statistically, especially towards the end of the year. It seems like every game, his stats were just getting better and better. I mean, how have you seen him progress on the football field in, in terms of that and his production there? Well, you know, the term football nerd, I'm, you know, he, he comes in and um, we watch individual. A lot of guys don't want to come and watch your individual, uh, which is just your one-on-one, -on -one, just defensive line specific drills. But he comes in and watch and like, coach, can I take this step? What about my hand placement? Like he, he, he does the small things um, and make sure those are correct. So, you know, he can be successful because at the end of the day, defensive tackle is all about, um, first of all, playing with a little um, hostility, playing with some physicality and knowing your technique. We're a technique position. It's not really a scheme when it comes to D tackle. It's all about technique. And if you, if you hone in on your technique, you can be very successful. And, and that's what he did. Um, but again, he still has a, a lot of room to grow. Hi, Coach. Logan Hanson here with BVM Sports. Just looking from last year, his red shirt, his red shirt freshman season to this year, what are some areas that he really improved that you could see that, you know, made a difference in one year to the other? Yep. So um, last year, um, he started the season um, playing playing for us a lot. Um, and, and the game was fast. Um, he had, you know, the, when you come from high school to college, the, the, the speed of the game is completely different. Um, and, and, you know, maybe it was a little fast for him as a true freshman. Um, but over time, um, it slowed down to him once he started to understand that I can't just run off the ball. Once he started to understand that I'm not always going to be stronger or bigger than the person across from me. Um, and again, he, 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 he started coming in here, learning, um, coming in the film room, studying. Um, football is more than just putting your hand in the dirt and just running off the ball. Okay, he became a student of the game and, 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 and did a great job for us. Um, Coach, I know, I know you said playing D-tackle, there's some hostility that you have to come to the, bring to the park. 
yeah. you know, and you know, you said Ricky's a nice kid and that's the vibe that I get every time I talk to him, the nicest kid you could probably find takes care of business in the classroom. You know, how does he go from that nice person to being the, the monster he is on the football field? Is there anything you say to him before games or, or anything like that? Or Well, I can't tell you what I tell him before the game, but you know, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be nice. But, um, what, 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 what I tell them um, is they match their coach's intensity. Um, and I tell them they have to separate the person from the coach uh, when I'm talking about me, myself. Um, and then when I put it in their perspective, I say you have to separate you being a person from being a D tackle. Because, again, we're in a hostile situation in arm's length, okay? Uh, where as soon as that ball is snapped, we're in a phone booth in a fight, a fist fight in the phone booth. So you have to have the right mentality. You got to have some type of hostility um, to, to play with that edge. Because if you don't have some type of edge to you on the interior, it's going to be a long day and you're not going to like playing the position. <laughs> so coach, obviously along that defensive line, you have a lot of, you know, pretty much star players there. You got, you got Ricky, you have Jawan, you have D'Angelo. Just how do those guys kind of work in unison to make this unit kind of one of the more notable in the country? Well, um, first of all, you know, Coach Baker, he coaches the defensive ends, and he's a phenomenal coach. Uh, we do a great job of working together um, and making sure our guys are – our personnel is in the right situations. Uh, but those guys, they already know. Uh, we set a goal every year that we want to be the best defensive line, not only, in the, not only on our side of the conference, not only in the conference. Uh, we want to be one of the best defensive lines in the country. Um, and, and that's – one of our mentality, that is our mentality. So when we attack the weight room, we're thinking about being the best in the country. How can we um, attack those, those so-called bigger schools? Um, how can we you know, outdo them, all right? We're working against everybody in the country, not just guys in our conference. But those guys, man, they come to work every day. Um, I, can't say, I can't say any more about um, you know, how happy I am that Malone is coming back. Um, he loves it here. He does a great job. He's a phenomenal player. Um, Jawan does a, a phenomenal job. And I, I'm, I'm excited about Michael Pitts from um, Cincinnati as well. Um, you know, but Coach Baker will get those guys right this spring. Um, and we'll continue to try to do what we do um, and, and be better, honestly. We're, we're trying to take the next step. We're not complacent uh, with where we are. Um, and, you know, the scary thing about Ricky, you know, we say he, he has a lot to improve on, but our entire defensive line has something to improve. Um, Darvin, uh, Ship. You know, a lot of those guys have, you know, things to improve on. So I'm excited, again, to get back to work with these guys. And, Coach, obviously the last Western Kentucky All-American on the defensive side was Jawan, and now you you have Ricky to yourself. Is you think there's going to be some trash talk between those two coming into the season? Oh, man, there's already trash talk going on. But, again, man, it, 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 it brings the competition, all right? Uh, the, the thing about it, um, I have a, a true freshman. Well, well, he was a true freshman. He's in David and Duke way. And, you know, I, I rubbed it in his face a little bit. I said, are you next? I mean, I mean, next man up. But uh, Jawan, yeah, he talks a lot of smack to him. And, you know, you know, it, it gets Ricky going. So I, I, we enjoy it. So we want more recognition. So we got we to gotta make sure we put in the work, though. 